Hey geeks, I'm your host Jarvis. If you just set up OS and is stuck in the dual boot dilemma, well, this video is your rescue mission. Get ready to master the art of installing the Grub bootloader in OS. Today we are diving deeper into the world of bootloader magic which help you seamlessly switch between different operating systems. Why OS is so famous? Popos is a free and open source Linux distribution based on Ubuntu and featuring a customized genome desktop environment known as Cosmic. Uh, this distribution is developed by System76. It brings a fresh perspective to the Linux experience for its productivity tools, customization features, and robust gaming and graphic support. It became favorite among the fresher and the expert Linux enthusiast. So enough for intro, let's wait no time, let's dive into the bootloader adventure. So I have just installed Pop OS and now it is asking me to restart the system. But before I do that, let me see you if bootloader is already installed in my system or not. So I am uh, perform a quick system restart and guide you through the process. Alright, my system is power off. Uh, let's boot the system into the boot menu. I'm using Lenovo, so I'll press F12 during the startup. And guys, as you can see, we have multiple boots option, and one is Pop OS. Uh, if you hit enter uh, in the Pop OS, then my system inst instantly boot into the operating system. It means Grub bootloader is not installed yet. And and there you have it. We have just witnessed a scenario where Grub bootloader is not installed and our system quickly booted into the pop OS but don't feel flat. We are not stopping here, it's time to install Grub bootloader. So for the first time let's ensure our system is up to date. So I'll run the trusty sudo apt update command to fetch the latest updated for our pop OS. Alright we have done, our system is now fresh and, we'll, and get ready to the next step. Now uh, it's time to uh, install run the command sudo apt install grub efi grub2 common and grub customizer and hit enter oh oh sorry uh, it's it uh, shows uh, unable to look at package manager so we need to add package manager for grub customizer uh, so open the term in the terminal type this command sudo add apt repository ppn uh, blah blah and hit enter it will add the repo uh, in a uh, pop OS. Now, a uh, prepo is now added. Uh, let's just quick sudo update. Wonderful. Uh, we are all set. Now, let's give uh, that grub bootloader installation uh, another slot. Uh, so, hit enter and run this command again. And now, as you can see, there is no uh, error or something. So it will install grub boot customizer in my system. So yes, uh, here we go. Grub customizer is now making the way into the system. Uh, you can now it's time to install sudo grub hyphen install. Fantastic news. We see this installation finished. Now I reported that's our green light indicating that grub is now installed. Now uh, it's time to copy uh, the boot configuration file uh, using this quick command sudo cp hyphen boot grub uh, x86 and blah blah. Configuration file copied. Easy peasy. Now let's get the grub bootloader uh, up and running. So you can close the terminal and open grub customizer tool. So let me open it. Uh, in the grub customizer, uh, go to files, go to files and click on change environment and here in the output file type slash boot slash efi slash efi pop grub x64 dot efi. Click on apply. And now click on save. Uh, 
uh, let's check if uh, output file is changing or not so yes uh, my file is now changing you can close this and now it's time to restart the computer uh, to check uh, grub bootloader is installed or not so i am gonna restart my computer My system is powered off. Now I am gonna boot the system into the uh, boot menu by pressing F12. So guys as you can see one boot entry is now added in the, the boot menu. So which is pop OS I am gonna press hit enter on this new boot entry. So yes as you can see uh, you can see the grub bootloader is here and you can switch uh, directly from here uh, if you want to boot the system into the pop os then you can uh, hit enter into the pop os and uh, if you want to boot the system into the windows then you can press uh, button on windows let me boot uh, the system into the windows first to show you that it is working fine so yes my system is now boots up into the windows uh, let's power it off again and boot into the pop os for this time So guys as you can see my system is directly boots up into the grub bootloader menu. Now I am gonna boot the system into the pop OS. so guys as you can see system is now boots into the pop os so by this way you can install grub bootloader into pop os i hope you like this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching tech jarvis